Hey guys, Tup here and welcome back to another great guide. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the ways of the dual blades. Because in order to beat the monster, you must be the monster. Which in this case the demon because dual blades have the demon mode and then it can... Anyways, we'll get to that shortly. Firstly, we're going to talk about what the dual blades are. And with hours and hours upon research, I've come up with this. Long ago, in the age before hunters. I'm just kidding, I didn't do any research. The only thing I did for hours was sleep. Dual blades is just two blades. It's pretty much in the name. And if you don't believe me, just listen to this guy. Look, you got a stick in the hand each and you swing it left and right, and there you go. Dual blades. Alright, that's enough of that. So for dual blades, you got three modes. Demon mode, arch demon mode, and just regular mode. Now we all start off with the basic normal mode. There's nothing special to it. You're just normal. Next up you got your demon mode, which is like the older brother out of the three modes. Demon mode has more advanced attacks and combos and this is the mode that you want to stay in to dish out the most damage to the monster. But alas, with great power comes great responsibility. Your stamina constantly drains in this mode so you gotta look out for that. Then finally you got the arch demon mode, which is like the middle child. You don't really care about it, it's just it's just there. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Huh? Me? <laughs> just hanging around. So first up you got your basic combo, it's just three simple attacks. And then the other button does a lunging strike followed by a round slash. You can also change the direction of your round slash between left and right, but I don't really think it makes a difference, but don't quote me on that. And then you have an attack called turn slash which just basically turns you around and slashes behind you. And now we head on to demon mode, where you're constantly running like characters from Naruto and your dodge rolls turn into sidesteps. Did I mention that your stamina drains constantly as well? Watch out for that. In demon mode, your attacks and combos are now enhanced. You still have your three basic button combo, but better. Your other button now does a spinning dash attack. Pressing both attack buttons together will trigger blade dance, which does a flurry of attacks. It's a good attack for whenever the monsters are knocked down or paralyzed. Next you have your claw attack that can mount onto monsters that also does another attack following up. You can trigger it only after the second round slash, meaning it can only be done in demon mode. Quick tip, you can continuously attack if you do a normal attack after you do a fade slash like so. And you can go on and on as long as you want until you get hit, knocked back, or stop. Other than that, you could go on forever. And you'll still be in demon mode even after your stamina runs out. And lastly, we got everyone's favorite. I'm talking about none other than the jumping attack. This is probably one of the most satisfying attacks of Monster Hunter World, maybe even the whole Monster Hunter franchise. And I will show you why in one second. Two seconds later. Which one of us is gonna bag the tail strap? You or me? <laughs> I like a good competition. Okay, Mr. Teostra bagging huntsman. First of all, I'm pretty sure Teostra is a male. So you what you'll be bagging is a man. Anyways, where is this guy? Oh hey, good news buddy, you're getting laid! I know I said I'd show you what the jump attack looks like, but now is a better time to show you what the claw attack looks like. So in case you didn't see, here's a replay of it. And here's for a better view. Now I'm going to show what the jump attack looks like. Well that was very disappointing. Okay, let's try that again. That's also disappointing. They say third time's a charm. Beautiful. Before I continue any further, I just want to say that building these fists of fury is the best thing about dual blades for me. Everyone has their own opinion, everyone has their own reasons, but for me, it makes me feel like Star Platinum from JoJo. <laughs> So I'm sure you guys can see that dual blades attack with a flurry of slashes. And with that being said, you usually want to go with elemental builds with dual blades. And why do you ask? Because it does more damage. Dual blades also have one of the highest elemental damage multipliers, which makes elements being on dual blade better than 
most of other weapons. Here's a quick explanation. Here we have two different types of weapons from the same monster and same rarity. As you can see, the greatsword has way higher stats way higher damage and higher elemental damage as well. And the element damage applies to each individual hit. Now let's say this is how much damage you do in like 5 seconds. The dual blades lands in more hits than the greatsword would. Therefore it lands 3 hits. Wow the greatsword hits once. This is the amount of raw damage they would deal within that time frame. Now let's add in the elemental damage. Now this would be the total damage that was dealt within that 5 seconds. There's so much more damage calculation to this, but this is the most simplest way that I could put it. So basically what I'm trying to say is summon the power of the elements and whack that hoe. And that now leads us to the skills that I would recommend. And the first one being critical element, of course, if you are going elemental builds. Then critical eye, which raises the chances of critical hits. And critical boost, increases the damage of your critical hits. But keep in mind, critical boost only applies to the raw portion of your weapon damage. It does not, I repeat, does not increase the damage on your elemental portion. That job is for critical element. Attack boost, of course. Weakness exploit. And then agitator. Those are all offensive skills that will help you deal more damage to the monsters. Now here are some other skills that will help you in battle. Evade window. Marathon Runner, Stamina Surge, Razor Sharp Slash Spear Shot, Handicraft, Protective Polish, and Speed Sharpening. Although I guess you could say Handicraft is a defensive skill because if it increases your sharpness to a higher level, it will also increase the damage that you deal. The more important skills I would say is Evade Window, Marathon Runner, and Razor Sharp, and also Stamina Surge. Evade Window does increase the sidestep distance which can help you dodge attacks or reposition yourself to a better position and Marathon Runner does decrease the stamina consumption time in demon mode, meaning it will also increase your time as a demon. And adding on to Marathon Runner, Stamina Surge increases your stamina recovery, which in other words recovers your demon mode a lot faster. So with those two together, you can basically be in demon mode for about 90% of the hunt. Razor Sharp comes in handy because since you land a lot of attacks, you can also lose sharpness a lot faster. And this skill will help decrease the amount of sharpness loss so that you could spend a lot less time sharpening your blade and actually using it. I also want to add that earplugs is useful. If you are in demon mode and Karen decides to yell at you instead of fight, you will come out of demon mode while protecting your eardrums from the screech. And those couple of seconds that they are screeching, you could be slicing in some hits. Oh, and did I mention that your stamina drains in demon mode? Watch out for that. Well, that was about everything that I can think of, so now you can consider yourself a Blue Blade Master. And as a reward for making it this far into the video, here is a satisfying montage from yours truly. And if you found this video helpful, or if you enjoyed this video, I mean you made it this far, hit that like button. If there's anything that I missed, or if you have any other tips, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, do consider. It would help me out a lot. Anyways, stay hydrated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.